uh, um, equation the slope is 1 divided by q e. So, we can calculate q e from the slope the slope is 0 0.0, .0 uh, if somebody calculate it for me it's good uh, 1 divided by 0 0.376 will give me what q e yes gives me q e. So, if t you tell me I write it here q e Is, is 1 divided by 0 0.376 and what is ka 2 For example, a for example, the amount of one kadu uh, QE two is a. Okay, so k two equals. Yes. From these, K2 come here, or can uh, come here. So, K2 equals yek 1 divided by R multiply QE multi uh, power 2. I will add this equation here. R is uh, 4.8639 multiply by QE which is this one this is call 2 so, from the slope and intercept, I calculate the K2 and QE. <coughs> yes? This is the first method. We can use another method now. Okay? Another method. Is it clear this method? How I calculate K2 and QE? Now, when you have the. Uh, uh, now, when you have uh, call two and QE, you yourself you can calculate uh, QE, Q based on these two because in this formula now you have call two and QE. You can put it, and then you will have a formula for uh, calculating Q. Now your formula is calibrated. But we are not sure if it is the best parameter or, or no. At first, I say you the second method, and then we compare two methods. Which of them is better? I, I think it's good that take some notes, then you can uh, uh, calculate it later. But I can give also this uh, Excel file, then you will have it later to check how I calculate it. I think it's, it would be good. Okay, I live, I live here two times. Here I want to second method. In the second method, we use uh, non-linear 
in this method we uh, in the first method we use linear regression method now we want to use nonlinear regression method in the second method we consider this equation and we optimize this equation completely when this q measured q and calculated q are the same okay so at first we assume one qae and k2 we can assume it at first and it is better that we, we get the data from the linear one for the first assumption okay and we calculate here we put this formula QE power 2 oh. multiply by K2 F4 I use F4 because uh, and put it, you, you should you can see the formula there I use F4 to make it con, uh, make it, make a fixed address not relative address multiply by T the T is here yes divided by 1 plus QE multiply K2 oh, I use I should use F4 multiply T again zero point two yes This is Q calculated Q. Okay. Now I have calculated Q by by an assumption. It can be used for linear one and I, and or I can do a, a number 20, 25, 0 0.1. This is only the first assumption. Then the nonlinear method itself solve it and find the best solution for me. This is this K2 and QE that I entered here is only the first guess. This guess can be anything, but usually it is better to be in a good range near the real one. Then it's uh, faster to get the result. Now I will uh, calculate the error because they calculated, for example, say 0.2. And the real one, 0 0.8. I, I calculate the error. The calculated one, min, um, minus measured one, power 2, SSE. I want to calculate sum of a square error. So this one, minus this one. And then uh, repeat for all of them. And calculate the sum. If I hit this one, then it calculate the sum. Sum. This is sum of the errors. And I want to make it minimize. By optimizing K2 and QE. In which K2 and QE we have the minimum error? Yeah, this is our question. So uh, Excel have a solver tool, toolbox. It, it has a solver toolbox which can do it for us. It optimize uh, uh, the equation and find the best result. Who worked with solver before? Do you know familiar with solver? So you will learn it now. Uh, you can 
you will go to data here you see solver oh you cannot why it is not uh, clear here I, we cannot see I can see here but Excel is a resolution uh, It is related to Windows. Here is okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe it is now. It's okay. No, it's not. Yeah, it's in, in this way it's good maybe. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect, but I can use it like manual. this. Hmm? You can extend manually. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you mean, uh, okay, they made them, yeah. Okay, is it good? Oh, it's go out again. Yes, this is good now. Solver. Thank you. You need to change the resolution. Actually, it's a resolution issue. Ah, it's a resolution. How can I change? Maybe if we make it second, uh, only second display, then it's okay. Huh? Actually, the resolution is ah, too, so high. too high. It doesn't work? No, no, no. Revert. May I, I find the solution. If and maybe if we do it only second the screen, then Yeah. Maybe now it's okay. I cannot see it here but uh, I will do it from here. No. Is it? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, you see, if you go to the data, there is a tab solver here, okay? Uh, and uh, you can use this, uh, if it is not uh, in here in your computer, maybe it is, in, uh, it is not installed yet on your computer. You should go to add-ins, to Excel options in add-ins and add the solver. Uh, it is usually in the data analysis tool pack. You should add solver to it and then the, it will come here in the data solver. You choose the solver and you will have such a menu. It asks, uh, this is very, very useful uh, mm, uh, toolbox. It is not only useful for this. Whenever you want to do optimization and uh, um, like linear optimization, nonlinear optimization, it's a very useful toolbox that can help you. you uh, set objective, you should say, what is your objective? Uh, this, um, our objective is sum of a square error because we want, we want to make minimum sum of a square error. And what we can do, you can maximize, you can minimize, you can reach to a minimum. So you choose minimum and by changing value cells, as, uh, it asks you, I should change what um, and you will say that it change this to one to reach the results. Okay, objective is the content. Oh. Okay. This is uh, because uh, I had a it mustn't be here a uh, formula. Uh, I should write it only. What is the number? 
zero point zero zero three because uh, in the um, the error come up because the cell that you are choosing for changing mustn't be formula because this is an assumption he want to change the assumption he cannot change the formula he must be a number that he can change it so I added a number here so again I run the solver. Must be a for me. Oh, the object. We didn't choose the objective yet. This is the error. The object is here. Is here. This is the sum of a square error that we uh, wanted to make it minimize. So I choose. Okay. Solver said, solver has converted to a current solution. He find this uh, answer. You can make a good report from un, uh, answer sensitivity. When, when you are doing optimization, you can uh, use also this report, but we don't now look at the report. You see, it reached to the minimum. Do you remember? It was 8. Now it is 1.49. So you can, now you have a good comparison also. So the linear one had the sum of a square or error of 8, but the nonlinear method has a sum of a square error of 1.49. And you have the uh, data. The calculated, uh, sorry, the calculated one. And you can see also it is much more closer now, the values uh, to each other. And uh, the QAE changed. It was 26 with uh, uh, linear method and with non-linear method now it is 35. And CADU also changed. With uh, linear method it was 3029 uh, and with non-linear method it's now 30. So now you have a good uh, uh, um, comparison with the linear and nonlinear one. If you want to see it better, I can copy also here. It's in uh, maximum here yeah, five minutes is finished. Uh, is this one? I, I am going to calculate the linear one also, <coughs> then you can compare better. <coughs> you see, here I calculated, uh, it's better to write. Q linear. 
and this is S S E linear. You see, uh, this is the calculated Q linear form, and this is the calculated Q nonlinear form. And the sum of a square error for a linear form is 8.3, and for nonlinear form is 1.4. And it shows that it's better that we use nonlinear method for calculating the sorption parameters. In, uh, uh, and if you go to the papers and uh, pa journal papers, you will see that most of them use a linear form for estimating uh, sorption parameters. But here we will uh, see ourselves with the experimental data, with the real experimental data, that we need better to use nonlinear form and we have a better uh, result in the, and you know they are different also. The, in the li linear, for example, 0 0.8, here 1, 1.5 and here 1.9. So you see that uh, the data are completely different and the error is also very different. If you don't have any question, I think we can uh, finish the, co uh, the course here and if you, uh, I will send this Excel file also to you, then you can see how I calculated the sorption parameters, but only for uh, finalized and to see how it's work. It was sorption term. Do you remember? Rho uh, run the Q divided by run T. And I told that we need run the Q, run the T, then we can calculate uh, uh, the effect of the uh, sorption on uh, solute transport. And now, here, maybe it's better to And uh, now we work with this uh, model. Do you remember? We find K2 and QE. So if we put K2 and QE here, you see we have T, DQ, DT. And we, here also we need DQ, DT. So if we put K2 multiply QE minus Q uh, power 2 here, then the equation becomes complete. And we need only to solve this equation and we add one or two column again to the model that you uh, had uh, you have in your uh, excel uh, excel we had one more uh, we need more uh, one more column to solve this equation and when this equation solved then you can see the effect of sorption also on uh, solute transport okay i think we uh, uh, covered all the things that we are trying to do uh, and thank you for everyone and I hope that it was useful and uh, if anybody have question please uh, don't hesitate to contact me and uh, I will try to do and I do my best to answer your questions and I hope you always be successful okay thank you